Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about the logic behind the random quote. Okay, so let's start where we left off. In the last video, we designed our UI. We have a background color. I'm sorry, the background image. Why do I also always say background color? I have a background image and a label with the quote. But this quote is the static text, meaning that every time we run that app, and we, if we don't do anything, this always stays here. It always stays hungry, stay foolish, okay? And we have a button with the background color, okay? So in this video, we will talk about the logic behind the, the random quote. So let me talk about, um, if you remember in the Swift introduction to Swift series, we have something called an array. But I never actually tell you how we can use it for something really useful. So it comes into this project. An array is a data structure that we can use to store data in a linear manner, meaning that I have an, a list, right? And each index is some value. So think about it. In this project, I will have an array and that array stores all the quotes that I need to use, okay? So don't think that the quotes come from like somewhere that is magical. It is comes from where we live it, okay? Where we create it. So we have to first create the, first we have to create the array um, quotes. Secondly, we have to do some kind of mechanism so that Every time, um, so every time we need a new random quote, that we will have that random quote. Okay, so let's do it. What we need to do is to open the view controller dot Swift, and as I tell you, tell you in the introduction to Swift project, this view controller is a class, and we will do some neat stuff in here. Okay, so it has right up front, it has something to talk about. The first thing is the import UI kit. The UI kit is the all the frame is the framework behind all the UI elements. And you see, the UI means that user interface. Okay, it drives the buttons. It drives with the power behind the label, the background colors, things like that. Okay, we have a class called View Controller. This class controls the view that is this view okay we will talk about it when we need it it has a method right up front called override from view did load this view did load method gets called every time the view of load is loaded on the screen okay let me show you this um we have this we have this simulator so every time this view appears on the screen it it load it is loaded on the screen. This view did load gets called. Let me write a comment. Gets called when the view is loaded. Okay. So one view is loaded once. Okay. So what it there is it is called the super method. It's like the init method and it calls the super method from the super class. UI view controller. UI view controller is a super class and it calls the view did load method from the UI view controller. Um, object oriented things stuff over here. Okay, so let's do the things behind the uh, uh, the quote stuff. So first we need to create an array of quotes. Let's create an array var quote equals that is an array and inside this is some string okay things like stay hungry stay foolish okay or okay i won't type everything here because it will be time consuming for all, all of us what i do is i prepare some quotes right up front and if you like you can uh, collect your own quotes or you can just copy it from the downloadable files. Okay, I will copy it like this. Okay, that's good. 
let me close this and we have the whole screen so we have an array of string each string in this array is a quote okay so right now I will create the mechanism behind the random quote okay so I will need a function fun. what this function does is it, it will returns a random quote every time it gets caught okay so this function I will call it random quote okay it doesn't take any parameter what it returns is a string because it is a quote okay let's write this function so if you remember we have an array of quotes and the way we are going to assess elements inside an array is to use the index okay we need an index but it is not a normal index it is a random index because we need randomly access to elements inside this array right so how are we going to have a random index we we'll use something called the arc for random function for random okay this is a function and it returns a random number int okay so let me write this random index equals arc for random okay so this returns what it returns an use unsigned integer 32 bit so it is a integer and it is positive it is 32 bit don't worry about those but our int our index is of type int so i have to cast it as type in like that okay i will type in and then parentheses inside this is the arc for random okay and then but remember the the index of that we use into the subscript notation it can never exceed the number of elements inside an array so how are we going to make sure that the random index never exceeds that well we use this neat tool uh, myth check from math we will modulus or we find the remainder from this random number to the number of elements inside this array so i will put quotes dot count okay so if you remember some math any number divided by a number and we find that the remainder of that equation that remainder always from zero to that divide um, divisor minus one okay so it will be from zero to quotes dot count minus one quotes dot count minus one is the index of the last element okay so from here we can just return or I can do something like this let um, random quote equals quotes sub random index okay so this syntax should look familiar with to you and we will return free I'm sorry quotes sub random index or we can I'm sorry we should re return random quote okay it returns on a string and random quotes is a string type is inferred right so there we have it we have the random quotes so now we want to call this to give it a test how are we going to call it where are we going to call it well one simple way is we can call it in the view did load method remember that this view did load method gets called when the view is loaded when this view is loaded okay this screen is loaded so i will call this okay because it returns a string i will do something like let's random quote that's a quote equals random quote just like that and i will print line to the console okay or this is too long i can do something like this call it right here okay let's run and let me predict it to you when we run 
oh, I place it in the wrong position. This, I place it in the did receive memory warning. I should put it in the view did load. So the did me receive memory warning gets called when your app uses too much memory. Okay. Most of the time we don't have to worry about this and maybe I will target slightly in the future videos. So right now just leave it there and let's click run. Okay. Let me predict it to you. It will print out a single quote over the console like this. Okay, so here we go. When this view loaded, we have a new quote. That results from this method gets called. When this method gets called, we will have print line random quote. And the random quote function gets called. It returns a string of the random quote and we have it. And you see, you decided to pursue your dreams. That's confident. Oh, I love this quote. And yeah, we have it over here. You decided to pursue your dreams. That's confident. Let me run again to show that it's actually random. Okay, let's stop and run. Here we go. Relentless optimism is what moves the world forward. This uh, quote is a quote from an Apple ad. Okay, so there we go. Let's run it again. We do a lot of programming here, so let's see our result. Our lives begin to end the day. We become silent about things that matter. This quote, I think, is from Dr. Martin Luther King. Okay, so here we go. We have done the um, logic behind the random quote. Very good. Good job, guys.